if you're a leader, a real leader and a trainer of leaders, if you are involved in leadership development, your most important job is to vanish, at least somewhere along the line. To vanish is a mark of success in leadership and leadership development. There are many leadership skills that involve our hands. The hand up, the extended hand, the hand of demonstration, the hand on the shoulder, and the hand off. That's right. To hand off with its accompanying attitude of hands off is also called the hand over. In business and ministry and Nonprofit leadership, we will always find ourselves endlessly serving one task, one location, one small group of people if we're unable, unwilling, or uninspired to duplicate ourselves and to vanish into the woodwork. Vanishing leadership is real leadership. It, it, it mentors, it prepares, it duplicates itself in others with the specific goal of giving away a role or a task and all of the credit and the accolades that go with it. Great leaders are always grooming successors. By the way, into the woodwork doesn't mean uh, unavailable for counsel or accountability and uh, encouragement. It just means that the leader is generous and intelligent enough to know that his or her effectiveness is either severely limited or profoundly enhanced to the degree that he or she is willing and able to duplicate and vanish. So let's develop this idea. Let's examine the concepts of hands-on and hands-off to ascertain when each is the most appropriate in leadership. First, hands-on, and we're going to do an acronym. The extent to which we keep our hands-on will be informed by the following factors. Hand and on. H is for help. When it's needed in learning uh, of skills, of uh, values, of concepts, internalizing the mission, getting the job done at a minimal level. Help. The A in hand is for assimilation. Assimilation of the philosophy and values of the organization that are still in formation in that person's life, that potential leader. N is for negative attitudes, behaviors, conversational patterns that are being unlearned. You are helping your protégés unlearn some things, negative things. The D is for dependence. Dependence on the mentor coach is a constant. And when there is dependence, then you need to be hands-on until the person can become less dependent and more independent. Okay, there's an on and hand on. Uh, optimum. O is for optimum performance, and it comes with suit close supervision. And N is for necessity, and that dictates uh, that the tasks be closely monitored for quality assurance. These are the uh, markers that tell you that there is a need for hands-on supervision, mentoring, uh, coaching, uh, leadership development. Well, when, what about hands-off? Handing off leadership is the ultimate goal in the arena of leadership development. When you get to that point, you've entered the sweet zone. You've moved to the next generation leadership mentoring phase. You've created a movement that will live on after you're gone. So here's some pointers in the form of an acronym for a time when you can hand off leadership to one or more successors. H is for help. Help is still needed, but it can be offered more often from a distance and at broader intervals. A, assimilation, a philosophy, values. It's beginning to take hold. The work has moved from the head 
to the heart of the person you've been mentoring for leadership. The N is for negative factors. They're less pronounced. They're more easily recognized, and they're more easily and efficiently managed. The D is for delegation of the entire projects, and they're taking place, that kind of delegation uh, responsibilities. And then the word of off. O is for optimum performance is enhanced by trust and disengagement. F for formation of a sense of ownership by the new leaders in the organization for its reputation, the organization's, its future, its excellence, and all of that is becoming evident. And the second F is for formal recognition of the new leader's leadership abilities and skills. That has been installed and instilled, and there is a sense of confidence and accountability. Well, each of these requires further explanation and development and uh, maybe another uh, webinar, uh, some time together, some coaching, some mentoring. But you can get the point from this. The transference of leadership may be gradual, but it must also be a constant commitment. If an organization, a ministry, a nonprofit, or a business is going to grow in number and in influence.